Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of the demo for an upcoming game called Void Souls. Void Souls is a top-down perspective, minimalist, Souls-like game, and it releases on November 12th. Now, full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Void Souls and Modern Wolf. So I'd like to take a moment to encourage you to visit the Void Souls Steam page via my link in the description or in the pinned comment. You can download the demo to try for yourself, which I highly recommend, and you can also wishlist the game. All right, so let's head into the game. Full disclosure on this too, I have played a bit of the demo before recording this just to kind of get my feet wet and make sure I understand the basics so I can explain them in the video. But I haven't played the entire demo uh, or I'm not really sure how long it is, maybe not anywhere close to it. So there will still be a blind element to this uh, game. Uh, let's go ahead and just name the save John. I know it's boring, but whatever. It's my name. So here we are. We're this little triangle right here. Uh, the one on the right, to clarify. We don't want to be the one on the left. Oh, perhaps I spoke too soon. The one on the left is being released. Hey, I want to be released. Huh. Is that what's gonna happen to me? Oh. Void souls. I knew that would happen. But did you believe I was playing it blind? All right, here we go. Void souls. So what I just activated is called a light spark. You can rest here to fully heal, restore potions, change equipment, and level up. When you die, you will be rekindled at the last light spark you visited. Every time you rest at a light spark, all enemies respawn. So you get it. It's a pretty common Souls-like mechanic here. Now here's what the uh, light spark, um, I guess, management screen looks like. You may notice that there's four different stats here. We're level one right now, so we have no soul crystals to spend you get one soul crystal when you level up and you can put them in one of these four stats there's vitality which controls your hit points there's speed which controls your stamina strength which increases your strength damage and dexterity which increases your dexterity damage now every five points that you spend in one of these stats will give you uh, a major soul crystal which gives what the minor soul crystals give for each point, but every five points you'll get a bonus. So for example, uh, with every five points put into vitality, you get extra hit points and damage resist. Uh, for every five points you put into stamina, you get a lot of extra stamina and you get additional move speed. So that's very valuable. Uh, with strength, you get additional hit points and with dexterity, you get additional stamina. So that's how that goes. Here's our loadout. We've got a primary weapon, in this case, a sword. Um, the sword scales with strength and dexterity, so it's kind of just a basic all-around weapon. Uh, we will also get secondary equipment, as well as an artifact and relic at some point over the course of the game. All right, here we go. Now, this is what the items look like. We require one right now. New item, permanent upgrade, increase max potions. So now we have one. In the top left, you'll see the one in the red shape up there, and that is how many potions that we have. Potions heal you. But I imagine you guys have played a video game before. Okay, here's an enemy. So you have a dash and you have a normal attack. You are invulnerable while dashing. So there we go. We'll attack. And we've stunned him. We can also do a heavy attack if we hold down the attack button. Now you may notice when we uh, defeated the enemy, we got five souls in the lower right. And that's how we'll level up. Okay. We've lit a torch. They stay lit permanently and award a small amount of souls as well. Exciting. <laughs> So we actually got, I think, 10 from that. 
All right, here we go. Let's make our way through. Oh. I back stepped there and we stunned him. Wow. Oh, I had my dash ready, but we stunned him. Okay, this is going great so far. Let's light this torch. Fantastic. Um, should I go down, maybe? What a great room. <laughs> now, there are hidden walls like that. You just gotta look at the border. We got a secondary piece of equipment, the light shield. But in order to equip it, we'll have to go to a light spark. Now, there's one over there, but I don't really feel like backtracking just yet. So we're gonna keep moving through. Oh, there's two of them. Hey, fellas. How about a fair fight? Okay, yeah, well. <laughs> this wasn't fair. So we now have a level up available. We can head back to a light spark. Uh, and we have to rest in order to inc uh, increase our stats. We're not gonna do that just yet, though. Let's unlock this door and continue on because I'm feeling adventurous. Okay, let's light this torch. And what do we have here in the security office? A new item, prison map A. Okay, let's take a look at the map. So here we are in the security office. Um, apparently they got an open door policy here because we just walked right in. You can see on the map, there's uh, items down here, which we'll probably go check and see if we can get those. But yeah, cell block A, cell block B, records room, sanitation, and there's an armory over here. Lots of stuff we need to go get. Now over here, there's a little lock symbol, and that means we've got to get a key, obviously, to unlock the lock, because that's how locks work. All right, let's go ahead and rest here and spend our first point. We've leveled up. Now, what's important to note about uh, the leveling system is that you can respec at any time, so if at one point you're like, I put a point in vitality, and then later you're like, you know what? I don't want to put a point in vitality. You can just, you know, add and subtract to your heart's content. Um, let's take a look real quick at our secondary um, a piece of equipment, the light shield. Now, this gives you a parry. If you've watched me play Souls Light games in the past, you know that I'm a dodge or die kind of guy. So... I'm not sure how much we'll be using that, but we'll be on the lookout for another piece of secondary equipment. Uh, I'm going to put a point into strength, which increases our damage by, looks like, 0.6 with the sword, which I'm happy for. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Okay, let's uh, light this torch right here, the security corridor. And let's head down here. Oh, hello. Ow, I got hit there. Ryan, as I was hitting them. Oh, oh. Whoa, you guys got long swords. Oh, whoa. This is bad. Okay. And I died. Oh, man. Death is inevitable. You must revisit the site of your death to reclaim lost souls. Now, what if I told you that I died on purpose just now? Just so you would see that that's uh, a mechanic in the game. Would you believe me? No? You don't believe that I... Do you think I died on accident just now? Well, wait till you see the gameplay coming up. I'm not gonna die again for the rest of the video. You can take that to the bank. You think I'm kidding? Me? Jest? I would never. You're about to see stunning Void Souls gameplay. Oh my gosh, there's another one there. Okay. Oh, my stamina could be a little higher, couldn't it? Wow, okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, he's not doing a great job of not dying. 
I already had to use a, a potion. But I got past them, didn't I? And we got a new secondary piece of equipment, the throwing dagger. As well as a new weapon, the dagger. We'll take a look at those uh, in just a moment. But I'm gonna keep exploring for now. Let's go on this side. Oh, big guy right here. Wow, okay. Let's play it safe with him. Oh-ho. We took him out, but that was pretty... That was pretty tough, actually. Big guy's right there. Now, it is worth noting, I do have a heavy attack. Big poke there. Uses up a lot of stamina, though. I feel like I don't have enough stamina at the moment to really use it reliably. Okay, here we go. This guy. Now, I don't have a health potion. Can I take him out? What if I sneak up on him like this? Oh. Okay, I kind of overdid it there. We got him. Okay, no problem. No problem. What I tell you? I know my way around. Some void souls. I like the shadows that are getting cast here. Let's go to what is this? The records room. Here we go. Light this torch and get this item. What is this right here? It's a relic, the relic of power. That sounds good. Currently going for, uh, okay. All right, well that's, that's just, that's not fair. Oh, I stunned all three. Oh. <laughs> Even though it wasn't fair, I still got away with it. Anyway, um, with my one point in strength, I guess you could say I'm going for a strength build right now. And that relic of power sounds like it's going to be good for that. So this door up here is locked. We're missing a prison key. So we got to be on the lookout for a prison key. I know you guys will tell me. You guys are pretty good at that. Telling me stuff. Oh, okay, so this uh, torch right here is actually on the other side. Let's... Look around. Okay, we got a big guy here. Uh, actually two big guys. Oh. Okay, careful. What were you? Where'd that guy think he was going? <laughs> he was gonna try to flank me? Okay, let's see if we can get heavy attack. I don't know if that's actually like advantageous or what. Okay, nice. We've been taking out those big guys. Now we are racking up the souls, but I'm not about to stop. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Here we are in cell block A. Ow. Ooh, we are really close to dying. Uh, I live life on the edge, though. Okay, nice. So this... Okay, yeah, we're still in cell block A. This unlocks right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, whoa. I got ganged up on. Now, look, see? Our souls. They're over here, but we did unlock this. So we can't actually just kind of sneak past and get them real quick. Oh, these guys have got like... Oh my gosh. They've got like daggers. Okay. You know what? Let's get revenge right here. Get revenge on these guys. Look at them just waiting. Unbelievable. Come on. Okay, only two of them this time. <sighs> okay, last one. Hi. Come on. Wow, okay. We have done it, and let's get this item. Permanent upgrade, increased max potions. We now have two max. Oh, 
Oh, that must be frustrating. <laughs> oh, what are you guys going to do now? Just rot in there? Eh. Well, that is really too bad. Let's go back to the light spark now, because I think we need to start putting some of these points in. I've leveled up from two to five, so we should have more to work with here. Now, uh, do we want to go all in? on strength because if we spend all three points we get a major soul crystal here and not only will we get additional strength damage we're gonna get 10 hit points with it oh i miscalculated we don't have quite enough hmm but i kind of like being a glass cannon so we'll stick with it now let's go this way to cell block b okay Oh. Okay. Oh. Ranged enemy. And you got stunned. Okay, here we are. Let's light this. Hmm. A level up is available. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock this door. Oh! Okay. Wow. Wow, okay, it just dodged a lot. Here we go. Ooh, that was really close. Let's see what you had in your cell. New item. A new secondary. A great bow. You know, I should take a look at my equipment. So let's unlock this. And... Okay. Let's go back to the security office and level up, shall we? Oh. I am being a little reckless here. Okay. Let's equip the secondary uh, great bow. That sounds intriguing. Hold the dash button to sprint. Well... Nice. That's actually... I have been doing that. And we got another uh, point. I'll put that into strength. Like we discussed. Now let's take a look at the relic. We can equip the Relic of Power. It increases protection, plus 5% defense. Vitality and strength. No reason not to equip that. Sounds great. Now for this, we can use the Throwing Dagger, which has speed scaling, or the Great Bow, which has strength scaling. I think it's safe to say... With five points in strength, I'm going strength build. Uh, it increases max arrows every four strength as well. You can restock arrows by killing enemies or stunning bosses. So let's try that out. Yeah. Oh, wait. Quickly, let's take a look at what other primary weapon we have. We had another one. Oh, the dagger. Now, the dagger has dexterity scaling. So we don't want to use that for our current build. It also gives you minus two vitality. I don't know how that works. What, you get, like, less healthy by using the dagger? Huh. Okay, now, uh, since we use the... Watch this. Oh, we used the great bow. <laughs> so you can see the ammo in the upper uh, right. Okay, that's fun. Let's go. I'm going to head on to the armory now and see if we can't get some of these items in here. We'll light this. Not sure what's going to happen here. Oh. There's an item here. New item. Oh, I got the prison key. That means I can open... Uh, the door on the left side. I'm guessing... Oh! Okay, those things... They're like sentinels. Prison guards. Let's try to avoid them, shall we? Acquire these items. This one right here? Relic of the Colossus. Oh, whoa! Okay. Okay. There's... Okay. We did not want that to happen. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I'm out of arrows, actually. Two big guys here. This is tough. Okay, we've separated them. Oh, wow! Oh, wow, okay. Let's get him with the arrow. Nice. Okay, actually... Hang on, is the armory safe to re-enter? Look, they're freaking out. Oh, what, you're invulnerable? Huh. Interesting. So what was in their cells? So these guys were just waiting in their cells, and then... When the sentinels went off, they just came out and they were ready to party? Wow. Total yes men. What, so they're imprisoned unless they're tasked with killing me? They got a real racket going on in this prison, don't they? Alright, well, uh, we are done now, and we're gonna head back to uh, where I can use the prison key. I'm ready. Okay. Let's see, can I... It'd just be... It's, it's funny this way. Okay, you know what? This strength build is working out. I kind of just went with, like, the default thing. You know? And, uh... Oh, we are killing it! Now, let's use the prison key right here. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Dude, your two friends just like sat there while I killed you. Okay. Are they really your friends? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. And we've got another torch lit. And another shortcut. Nice. So we're actually in an unmapped part of the map. Oh, down here. What's this? It's the light spark. Of course it is. And we've got a new item. Prison map B. Okay. Now there's... Wait, there's stuff over here. You see that? There's items that you can get over here. Huh. But yeah, below is the prison warden. Hmm. We'll head that way in a minute. Looks like there's a hidden wall here. Oh. Oh, whoa, they're, they're fighting each other. Oh, excuse me. They're fighting me. Okay. Ran out of stamina there, sorry. Stamina problems. But we got all of them, and we got a new item, new artifact, Ruby File. Exciting. So wait, so above, look, there's an item up there. You can barely see it at the top of the screen. Huh. I wonder if there's, so when there's been a wall that we can break, it's been very clear, like, the red runs out on the side of the wall. Let me look and see if there's something like that over here. Huh. Doesn't seem like it. Let's look up here. Oh! Oh, wow! What, you were just hanging out? They were, they were living in the walls. Okay, here we go. An item. New item, new weapon, great hammer. Whoa. Okay, now that's a strength weapon if I've ever heard one. I'm checking that out ASAP. Let's go to the light spark down here. We've actually, we've got a level up that we need to do. And we've gone from six to seven. Okay, I wasn't sure if we would hit eight or not. Um, 
you know what? Let's increase the stamina for now. I can respect if I want to. Let's change from the sword, which is kind of an all-rounder, to the great hammer, which actually increases your vitality but lowers your speed. Hmm. So before, I was doing 14 damage with the sword. With the hammer, I'll be doing 18. And does a lot more stance damage for stuns. There's way more knockback, too. Okay, let's check it out. Whoa. Okay, I think, actually, we're gonna need all our stamina. Low. Here, let's, uh... See, can I lower... Oh, I'm gonna lower one of the points in strength and give it to uh, speed because you'll see I lost my major soul crystal. So I want to get it back so I get plus 30 stamina. Okay. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's try this out, actually. Well... This is a big door right here. Huh. All the torches are being lit. Very dramatic. Oh. Hello there. Okay, our first boss. Whoa, whoops. Okay. Whoa, big. Whoa, big hammer. Ow. Okay, I'm already needing to heal. That's not good. Okay, don't backstep. Actually. Whoa. I am messing up. Look at how much health he has. Okay, um... Interesting. Let's get... Our souls. You guys just wanted to watch, huh? Okay, yeah. Um, actually the hammer is very slow. I'm not sure that's the best case scenario for me to use against the boss. Yeah, let's do a little bit of souls grinding. Um, might want to get to like level 10 or something. I don't know, I felt pretty underdeveloped there. It might be my bad, you know? Okay, I basically did a full round around the prison and we've got about 300 souls. So that should be pretty good to level up to eight and even nine, all right. Um, now I think what I was missing there was I might have needed a bit more stamina. Um, so let's add a couple points there and take a look at, oh, let's add the ruby file for our artifact. I didn't do that last time. Relic of power or relic of the Colossus. Minus one speed plus two vitality. Let's try that. We're a little slower. I did just put points into it, but uh, I am a bit better now at the hammer, and I gotta say, it's great, at least for these little guys, taking them out very quickly. So let's see how it goes this time against the boss. Attempt number two. Okay. Wow. Using my arrow first. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so... I'm, I'm trying to get the rhythm here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we stunned him, but it wasn't enough. Okay, nice. We stunned him again. Oh! You brought in your flunkies! Your yes-men! 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we got that one. The boss isn't really seeming to do anything. Okay, we did a little bit of damage to him. Kind of funny. Okay, I actually sent one of the projectiles back. That was kind of funny. Oh, whoa! Okay. We're actually doing a pretty good job here. Okay. And my ruby file earned me another health drink, so I'm using it. Oh. Interesting, okay. Okay. I've actually got it pretty low. Wow. Oh, wow. I know it's really low. We got him! Yeah! Attempt number two! Warden obliterated. See, me with that great hammer? We go hand in hand. Just like these yes men over here with the warden. They go hand in hand with him. He was like, I need you. And they were just like, oh, I'm there. He was like, jump. And they were like, how high? How high do you need me to jump? I am almost, do we really want to go out into the cold? <laughs> now, you know what? No, I, I literally have no health. There's no way I'm going out there in the cold right now. I'm going to go rest. This doesn't respawn the boss. <laughs> Surely not. Okay. Oh, and we've leveled up to 10, 11. Look at us. And we have enough to get the second major soul crystal here. I'm going to put another... Well, you know what? We're doing pretty good on health. I'm going to get into stamina. Okay. Now, we're, we're going to be trying a couple different builds in this video. Assuming that the demo... Uh, actually, I do know that the demo keeps going, so we'll we'll check out what awaits us out here. The prison yard. Oh, oh, this part isn't mapped. But yeah, we'll try a couple different uh, builds. I'm excited. Okay, this is quite a change of pace. Okay, here we go. This is. A light spark right there. There's an item here. What is this? New item. New usable item. Glitter stone. Oh! You found a usable item. These have limited uses, but replenish when you rest. Visit a light spark to equip up to four different kinds of usable items. Okay. Another glitter stone. Is this barbed wire here? Does it hurt? It does hurt. Barely. M locked missing gate key. Okay. Oh, you leave a trail behind in the snow. That's nice. West watchtower. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, nice. Oh. There we go. It was almost cool. New item. Prison yard map. Thank you. So we got the west watchtower, the east watchtower, and the center where I just was. And then we got the stables down there. The furnace up there. Let's go to the west, uh, sorry, east watchtower first. Okay. It's beyond the, what are these things? They look like wolves or dogs or something is that a trap oh my gosh i couldn't hold on to it oh whoa he dodged whoa these things are nasty oh wow 
Yeah, they're definitely some kind of dog or <laughs> wolf or something. Neat. Okay. Here we go. An item. New usable item. Flaming torch. Okay. So we can light things on fire now. I think with the... Was it the glitter stone? What is this? Oh, okay. It's a good thing I didn't step in that. Anything that can reduce it? Oh. I'm not sure if there's anything that can reduce it that I was doing. I was trying to dodge out of it. Oh, okay. Let's go along the barbed wire here. Go up to the furnace. Maybe we need to light the furnace. Maybe it'll make things warmer. Oh. Oh, immune? So how do I use my usable item? Oh, I see what we have to do. Okay. I think I need to equip it at the light spark. So let me go do that. I will... Okay, here we go. Flaming torch. Quickly inflict burn on a small area and ignite flammable objects. Okay. Clear stones are fun to throw. Hmm. <laughs> One of these is really useful for the situation. And one of these is fun to throw. Let me see this. Okay, you know what? That is pretty fun. Are they random colors? <gasps> They're different colors. Okay, that is fun. I was mocking it, but... Yeah, that was actually really fun. Ow. Okay, now we push the ice. <laughs> nice, okay. And there we got the gate key. And we are done with the prison yard, perhaps? Time to go, oh, is it this way? Yeah, through here. Oh. Prisoner intake. Okay, so we're like exiting the prison for real. Oh, these are the stables, right. New item. World map. Switch to world map. Oh. There's a question mark down there. Okay, so we're leaving the prison right now. Hmm. I mean, that's great. Forest. Oh. The climate has changed. Who's that? Oh, he... Did you just try to throw something at me? Come here. I got a big hammer. That, there's not much more intimidating, I would imagine, than throwing a big hammer down like that. Okay. I could rest. What is that? What is going on here in the forest? I'll go that way later, maybe. Okay, so this just loops around, so I have to go that way. Immune. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> Riverside Shack. Locked. Missing Riverside Shack key. Oh, and then across here. Okay, I've got to get... Ah, there's no map. I've got to get across there. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I'll be sidestepping this. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 they're trying to trap me! Whoa! Okay, you know what? Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, the hammer is a lifesaver. Healing. Use range. Level up available. I should hope so. Oh, dude, there's a fish right there. Okay, where do I go? Maybe this way? Oh. Oh, ow. Uh. 
Okay, this hunter. Okay. This hunter had his little dogs with him. Oh my gosh. Was, this forest is treacherous for uh, an escaped inmate like me. What was I even in prison for? Like not paying my taxes or something? Oh, here we go. New item. Forest map A. Let's go and let's get this. Okay. Where are we? Let's see. So the forest can't... Riverside Shack right there. It's, there's an item inside. South River Trail. And down there? Who knows? I'm actually going to go back up here and rest. Because we got... Oh. I forgot. I forgot. Ow. Okay. That was really close. I've got some points to spend. You know, let's... You know what? Let's let's respec completely. Let's take all of our points out, okay? And let's try it. The Great Hammer has been fun. But let's swap it out for the dagger and let's try something more dexterity focus instead of the great bow let's do throwing dagger instead of relic of the colossus let's do relic of agility and instead of the ruby file um we'll, we'll just keep that part i guess okay now let's see we want to do two points in vitality so we get our first major soul crystal let's do three points in speed so we get our second Major Soul Crystal here, and five points into Dexterity. We'll throw, we'll throw another one into Vitality. What the hey? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is the dagger. Oh. Apparently this does damage. Oh, we got him. Yes, that's what we're talking about. We killed the evil plant. Okay, so now we can go across the logs here. I am excited for this. Okay. Maybe I go to the left or I go to the right. Let's go to the right first. Village. Oh, are there oh, villagers? Exciting. Farm hut. Ooh, I'm going in. New item. Soul shard. One out of six. Permanent upgrade. Well, what is the... Sorry, I tried to stab the hay bale. Not my brightest moment. There's an item up there. Um, let's light this. Residential districts. This village has districts? No way. Yo, there's districts here. Key item, metamorphic alloy. No way, really? Well, what is this? Okay, I just discovered a crazy secret there. What'd I get? New usable item, caltrops. Okay, that's really neat. It's like a little portal. That is so cool. I'm I am so glad that I left this demo like unplayed so I could experience it blind still. Okay. I am kind of sprinting around everywhere. Um okay. Somebody was clanging something. Is that like oh is that a blacksmith? New item, village map. Yeah. Oh, look, on the left it says metamorphic alloy, alloy one out of one, and then something else, zero out of one. So I'm not sure what that's all about. Actually, let's take a look at our items. Let's use these caltrops. Tosses out three caltrops that attach themselves to anything that steps on them. I'm putting it down. Oh. Is this a chapel? Yeah, I guess so. Is there something to do here? Or? 
Guess not. Um, village undercroft. Hello? St stale bread. <laughs> the things that you choose to pick up are questionable, I would say. Hmm, two pieces of stale bread. Know where that goes, right in the pocket. Oh, wait, what is this? Demo speed run. Oh, this is like, uh... For people that have... Speed run the demo. Hall of Heroes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna be up there. That's uh That's a Mount Rushmore I'm not qualified for. But very cool. Yo, let's uh where'd I hear that? Is it over here? Blacksmith's hut, hell yes. Hey there, buddy. Offer metamorphic alloy. Give it to me. Permanent upgrade. Primary weapon upgraded. Oh, that's that's it? Can I see, like... Where do you sleep? The blacksmith... lives and breathes their work. When I said that's it, I just meant, like, that's all I have to do? Okay. Alchemist shop. Okay. Well, um, okay. I would love to speak to the alchemist. Are they in? They are not. All right, I guess that's, oh. Wow, this game really opened up. Oh, there's something over here. New item, Soul Shard 2 out of 6. What happens when you get all 6? Magical things happen. We're back in the forest. Into uncharted territory once again. Okay. Forest bridge. Alright. Oh, locked missing forest bridge key. So we gotta get the Riverside Shack key and the Forest Bridge key. Is that right? Um, oh wait, do I, do I go this way? Yeah. Oh. Riverside Shack key and we got a light spark activated here. Missing Apex Outskirts key. All of a sudden, we need all these keys. Angler's camp. Okay. Whoa! Okay, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna come over there. I'm just gonna, yeah. Oh, you think this is funny? We'll see how funny you think it is while I'm over there with my dagger. Huh? Look at them. Look at them. Oh my gosh. What? What's it's like too thick? Oh. No. The foliage, it's too thick. Oh. I'm trying to get to them. Okay. Well, we kind of got sidetracked. Let's What's this? Move boulder. Okay, hi. Soul Shard 3 out of 6. Nice. That's great, but they're right there. I want to... I want to go kill those guys. <laughs> they, they're making me mad. Are you serious? Where are we going? <gasps> Back to the forest camp. Okay. Well, I've already been over here. Well, how do I... How do I kill those guys? The guys that were griefing me from the other side of the river. Can we throw caltrops at them? What is this? Oh, that's definitely a bear, right? Just 
snare trap. Hunter's bow. Oh, that seems fun. Wow, heavy sleeper. You know what? I'm grateful. Bear cave. Yeah, I figured that one out. It's dangerous here. In the trapper's camp. Oh my gosh. Or are they like in here or something? Oh my god! I'm out of I'm out of daggers. Whoa. Come on. Come here. Come here. Okay. We'll get our daggers back. Oh, this one over there. Oh my god, there's another one! I am killing it with the dex build. Let's go. I mean, I was killing it with the strength build, too. Oh, no, 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 no! They, they, they've trapped me! Oh, okay. Oh my god, are you... Dude, the, dude, the, the so-called trapper is, uh... Was hurting themselves on their own camp's defenses. Did you see that? He was, he was over here. He was taking some hits. Some trapper, I gotta say. Force bridge key. Force map B. Oh, we were at the trapper's camp. Okay. Forest pond, forest bridge. The poacher. Oh, that sounds like a boss. Um, what's that over there? How do I get there? Huh? Oh, we can go to the Riverside Shack. I should have done that while I was over there. Well, it seems like we're in kind of a dead end here. Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, you still want to stay in there? I am out of knives. Okay, well. <laughs> hmm. You know, I feel bad for these bears. Let's let's let them out. There you go, buddy. There you go. Okay, no, no, don't attack me. Don't attack. I I saved you. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be in the cages. Okay. Uh Do we go? You know what? I'll go to the Riverside um, cabin or whatever's over here. I'm down for that. This way? Or, oh, this way. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I'm actually going to rest here. You can select an upgrade for your primary weapon. Oh, okay. We're at level 13. Let's take a look. An upgrade for my primary weapon. Okay, so like... Oh, upgrade dagger. Stunning, balanced, or cautious. Improves damage scaling on balance. Stunning increases stance damage. But also increases stamina consumed. Whoops. Or plus two vitality. Let's do balance damage scaling up. I like that. Um, okay, I've got one available. Let's go with vitality, yeah. Uh, for secondary, we can also have the hunter's bow. That's also a dex weapon. Let's, let's equip it and see what happens. Anything else so far? No. Um, I also have the stale bread. Increases stance damage of an attack. Snare trap. Place to briefly trap prey. Huh. I gotta remember to like try all these. Anyway, okay, I'm back here. Let's go to the forest bridge, which is right here. Uh, Cause we can get in there now. And see what lies beyond. What's this? 
New item. Soul Shard, 5 out of 6. Oh. Oh, I see. Missing Alchemist Cage Key. <gasps> the Alchemist! The Alchemist is in a cage! A cage controlled by the Poacher. Oh, another boss battle. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need to be a little bit more careful, I think. They're doing a lot of stun damage. Whoa, what's happening? Whoa! Heal. Whoa, okay. We do not want to get trapped. Close though. I had to pull. I had him on the ropes. I had him on the ropes. Okay. Nah, this is. Nah. You're going down, poacher. Actually, you know what I should do? Let me get my secondary item. Let's do the hunter's bow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can use stale bread to increase stance damage. I, I, I didn't use that in that last one either. I didn't use my Caltrops. I had to use my uh, quick items. Okay. Here we go. We're going to free you, Alchemist. Don't you worry. I got this. You should have seen me against the Warden. Okay. I'm just going to play him regular. At first. Hear me go. Let's get. Hear me go. What am I saying? Do some extra stance damage. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Darn. Oh, I'm really low. him really close okay we got we got him this time for sure the poacher okay i'm gonna have my bread out and i'm just gonna use my bread anytime it's off cooldown well i'll, I'll probably do my first stun just naturally because it's not that hard to get him stunned that first time okay Let's go. See? 
And get her stamina back. Okay, use my bread. First heal. There we go. Got him. Poacher hunted. All right, guys. Well, that's going to... Um, what am I doing with my headphones? I'm taking them off. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my uh, playthrough of the Void Souls demo. There was still more to the demo than what I had played, but I just decided that I was satisfied with what I had uh, played through. You know, two bosses, lots of new areas. The game is obviously, you know, pretty big and there's a lot to it. So um, I'm looking forward to the full release. And I just want to say thank you once again to Void Souls and Modern Wolf for uh, sponsoring this video and once again if you'd like to try the demo out for yourself please use the link in the description or the pinned comment to try out the demo and to wishlist the game on steam because wishlists really help these games out um, in the pre-release hype so if you're interested in what you saw today in this video make sure to do that all right i'll see you guys in the next one think critically